Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. It's good to have you join us again for this week's Explore Tulsa. Stevie, uh, why do you have those glasses on? These are my Halloween reading glasses. I thought I'd try to look, you know, a little more dignified when we visit the downtown library and all the cool things going on there. It is a very beautiful upgrade with all sorts of amenities designed to make library time fun again. So I would say the first day I walked into this library, 2010, I had never been to Tulsa before. I knew that something probably needed to happen. So it's a very well-loved and well-used facility. So the business of libraries has really changed um, dramatically, obviously, in the computer age. But we have to remember the internet's been with us for 30 years, and so libraries have adapted right along with it. Uh, certainly, in the past, we were thought of more as uh, a book warehouse. And, uh, we've moved um, far beyond that. Really, we're a place today in the 21st century where people are coming to use libraries, sure, to find a great book or get connected with information, but they're also using it as a place to convene, uh, collaborate on things, and also create. So in the new Central Library, which we're, we're the old, you know, the old building, but in the shell of the old, we've created this brand new building. And in fact, it looks brand new on the outside as well. Um, we have, um, when we walk in on the first floor, we have two floors above us and two floors below us. Uh, first floor is very popular items. It's the children's library, our Starbucks coffee shop. As we move up in the building, we come to uh, what would be perhaps termed the Reader's Library, though the Digital Learning Lab is on that floor as well, where people can uh, tinker with 3D printers, laser cutters, all kinds of things. We have uh, STEM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math uh, Digital Learning Lab. So there we've got flight simulators. Um, we have uh, computer coding classes. And then our quietest floor would be the top floor, uh, the third floor, and that offers, um, that's the research area, so it has a lot more in-depth uh, research items. Below the first floor, we have the Aronson Auditorium, so a lot of public meetings. That's also the floor that um, technically the garden, the, the uh, Mary Louise and AR and Mary Louise Tandy Garden is located on uh, that level. Uh, and that's a great like outdoor space. So after story time, the kids are down there uh, riding tricycles, uh, playing lawn games and, and whatnot. On the second lower level is a space that I'm particularly excited about, and that is the uh, Greddington Center for Learning and Creativity. And that is a center um, that teaches ideation, so creative problem solving. So we had a new staff member um, right before we opened. Uh, she had not been in the building before and she just looked around and she said, I feel rich. Um, I mean, it's just utterly like a beautiful um, gift to Tulsa. Um, from Tulsa to Tulsa. It was uh, funded by philanthropists in the city to the tune of 30 million. Uh, city voters voted an additional 10 million and improve our Tulsa funds for the library. Um, and then the library used its reserves, which are public money, to fund the rest of it. So it is a um, beautiful, beautiful building, but it's highly functional, highly useful. And so people, when they come in, are just kind of blown away. They can see uh, kind of an echo of, of what it used to be like. I mean, it still has that mid-century modern look on the outside, though it looks brand new. Um, when you walk in, it still um, has the open atrium area that can serve, you know, can be, furniture can be moved out, it's all on casters, and that can be set up for an author program that can see 600 people. Um, so it still, you know, has, has those kind of echoes of it, but it is completely brand new. It's just a gem. It is a gem and it is, um, or maybe we should say it's a jewel in the crown of Tulsa.